Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to approach the question number 21 in the Kalashal exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. Question number 21. The so team Neptune needs three pods of image, uh, HTTP 2.4-alpine, create a deployment named Neptune-10ab for this. The containers should be named Neptune-pod-10ab each container uh, should have a memory request of 20 megabytes and a memory limit of 50 megabytes. Team Neptune has its own service account, uh, neptune-sa-v2, under which uh, the pods should run. The deployment uh, should be in the namespace Neptune. So the focus is on creating uh, a deployment uh, and setting uh, the appropriate uh, replicas uh, use the appropriate image and uh, set the memory request and memory limits for the container. So we can do that imperatively. Uh, so we have to do this in Neptune namespace. Uh, let's create a deployment. So for now, I'll just use the hyphen H option to get more details about the command. We can make use of uh, all those additional options that we have here. Okay, so let's pick up this one. So kubectl uh, in the namespace Neptune create a deployment Uh, called Neptune dash ten AB and use the image of type HTTP two dot four dash alpine and we should have a replica count of three and then we will use the dry run equals client option uh, use the output as YAML option redirect that to 21.yaml. We then edit the newly created YAML definition file here and make changes uh, as the question um, requests us to do so. So let's remove these fields which we don't need uh, at the moment. So we have to uh, now focus on creating the requests and limit for this container. So it's all uh, under the resources section. So we are going to specify the limits. Okay, and there's a typo which I just noticed is the sources resources um, under the limits. We are going to set the memory limit as 50 megabytes, and the requests and the request for memory is going to be 20 megabytes. Um, and the other thing we have to use is the container should be named Neptune uh, dashboard and AB. So by default, it's using this name. Let's modify the container name to this one specified in the question and it's its own service account under which the pod should run. So we have to simply use uh, the service account name under the spec section here. Uh, we can use service account name so this um, dictates the deployment to ensure that uh, it uses this specific service account uh, for creating uh, 
uh, these resources. So that looks good. So let's save this file. So let's create the resource using 21.yaml. It's created. kubectl will get all in the namespace Neptune. Let's see if it has created three replicas. So these three I could see uh, is just eight seconds old. It's still in container creating status. Uh, so rather than focusing on that, get all, let's see, get pods in the Neptune namespace. And I'll simply grab for anything that has Neptune on it. So we have three pods, which is successfully running uh, in, in, in a running state. Let's now uh, describe um, this pod. Describe. Um, Pod Neptune. Uh, let let me pick up the first part to see whether we have the appropriate limits for the memory limits and res, uh, re requests. So uh, it matches our memory request of 20 megabytes and also the memory limits of 50 megabytes. Uh, and we need to also check the service account uh, used by yeah, this uh, is it yeah it's uses it's using the Neptune dash uh, SA dash V2 service account uh, and everything looks good so that concludes the question number 21 uh, in the killer shell exam simulation for CKAD so yeah please do hit the like and subscribe button if you have enjoyed the video so see you in the next question thank you